when I hear that engine scream and get above four or five, six thousand RPM, man, it's great. It's sound of power. It's, it's important to be able to hear the exhaust in a Jeep because you need to hear what your motor is doing. It helps you connect better with, with your Jeep. Yeah, the grip's the big thing. You don't have this exhaust hanging down low below everything. It's just tucked up and high and tight and nothing to worry about. This kit, you know, when you're working it and everything so finite between left foot braking and trying to get the exact amount of throttle input to get you up and over the obstacles, the tone has just this nice subtle change. You can read a lot by what your car's doing by the exhaust tone. Sound quality, sound volume is all very, very important. So that boiler exhaust is telling me, you know, where that engine's at and when I need to shift. And let me tell you, you know, I'm not missing a shift out there. As a road racer, road racers typically drive by the seat of their pants. When you're off-road, you can't quite do that. There's too many bumps, there's too many things going on around you. You gotta drive with your eardrums. And by that I mean listen to the sound of the engine, and listen to uh, where the torque band is, what Borla does with the sound of this exhaust. There's a linear relationship between what's going on in the engine to what's going on in the exhaust. So listening to the exhaust will tell you exactly what you need to know is all you need to know is tune yourself to the exhaust. I mean, I don't think there's a better exhaust kit out there than the Borla kit for a JK. It really should have how these things should have been from the factory. What a great product, well engineered. Borla nailed that thing right on the head. God, I love the sound. Thanks Borla. It's a soundtrack for driving. Lonely box car door. Oh. oh, oh.